Life is good. Even in bad times. You know, we learn from that. We learn our mistakes. We fix them. We continue on. That's just how it's supposed to work. That's how exactly how it works. You know, some things are just automatic in life. Apologize for a lot of things, burned a lot of bridges, learned not to do that again, you know. I've always loved life, but you know, even as a kid going through all this trauma where my PTSD really started, um, all those years of not knowing or not having identity due to the uh, boarding school syndrome my mom endured and uh, I never knew that story, and I always blamed her for everything that would happen bad in my life. You know, I'd get in trouble at home or whatever, and it was always her fault. She gave me away. You know, I didn't, I didn't know her story. I didn't know the sadness she carried with her. Um, back then, uh, the only way that she endured and got through anything was uh, tipping the bottle, and uh, which is typical for a lot of our people on the res, you know. And, Depression, the, the despair, the, you know, all those ugliness. But uh, to really look back through all those, all those years, all those centuries, and you, uh, we endured. We endured to where we're at now. We've we've come on top. We're on top. We're still struggling like anybody else, but we're on top now. We got a chance to really turn things around and we're doing a fantastic job man our story is getting out there finally the truth is getting out there um, don't be afraid to share anything that you may know at any time you now i don't care who we are out there whoever it is that's serious or listens to it uh, do your thing just do it any little bit you know it's a big help you know, it's not a native thing anymore. It's a people thing. You know, we're all in this together now. You know, I mean, COVID isn't discriminative. You know, cancer isn't discriminative. That thing will tear up anybody at any age. You know, and, uh, when I first got this uh, cancer, um, I automatically thought of St. Jude's and all those kids that were suffering, man. You know, just crushed my heart to know that they were up there suffering at such a young age that they should be out there playing in the beach, climbing trees, swinging on the swing, you know, riding a bike, enjoying life, not laid up in tubes and uh, in bed in the hospital. But, uh, then the thought came over me, and it's such a warm thought, but uh, then I had to say, I don't really want to know if that happened. I just would be nice to thought it would just be nice to know that it did and that it was uh maybe i took one of those kids place maybe i got this cancer and took it from one of those kids so that they could live a full happy life you know? and i thought that yeah that would be nice because i would want i wouldn't want to see it i'm going through it I, I, I experience all the pain that that stuff gives and it's not good even at my age, uh, we had probably a little stronger than in kids, but they're just starting out in life, you know. And, uh, it was rough on me, I know how rough it was on them. And uh, it's not easy, it's not easy. So, uh, yeah, that was a thought. Then I thought, oh, I don't wanna know. If it just happens, it happens, and that's great. You know, maybe later I find out, but right now I, I, I didn't wanna know that. I just hoped that it would happen, you know. It's going, if it would happen, you know, so uh, we'll see. Um, I don't know where else I'm taking this. <laughs> There's a humor, man. I love humor. I really do. We've had, we shared some good times, man. Just everything laughing and uh, it just, just, it just uplifts you. All through the day you do that, you know what I mean? You just get that shot a little of laughter, adrenaline. might think about later in the afternoon and have a little chuckle to yourself or somebody might catch you chuckling you know and try to explain share the story whatever it is you know but i loved humor i think it came when i was little if i could humor mom after i got in trouble me it wouldn't be so bad <laughs> and it worked sometimes it did it wasn't so harsh <laughs> yeah um 
I'm always reflecting. I've always reflected. Um, sometimes I needed to go back and think, uh, oh, how did that go wrong so I don't do that again? Or maybe I wasn't done doing it and I try to figure a better way to do it again, you know? I don't know. Make a jump on my bike, wiped out, and just, oh, damn. That bike's not made for that. <laughs> that's a, that's the only reason, you know. So, anyways, uh, you know, just goofy things like that. But I'm always, I was, I've always all my life reflected, especially after I found my family. Um, I was thinking back, uh, dreams. Dreams are very important to me, and I remember before I was even walking, the dreams that I would have. I took it to Hilda. They were that vivid, and I remember just clean as day from that day and uh, she gave me a new name did a song did a new name um I'm connected to those thunder beans so like if a, so this song you know you just say your name and then just do a little little chant those tornadoes and uh storms violent storms will recognize you and they'll go around you and keep you and your people safe and i've seen it over and over Say my name, just just tap, you know, just throw them out, just do some tapping, you know, and then it would change directions, or it wouldn't turn out right. I, I told it to just continue doing what you're doing. I understand that, you know, you bring that healing your brain to us, you know, but there's other things that can harm us, and I just ask you not to let that happen. But just do your thing. We appreciate that rain. I love the thunders and the rains. And uh, soothing. Um, whenever I hear them, I think of the moment. You know, I, I distinguish between the thunders, the, the, the different uh, volumes, the different intensity of the thunder, who that came from. I love those grandfathers, man in the spring, man. I was listening to that one. I don't go by the calendar just because it says birthday of spring. I wait for those thunders. Those thunders will wake everything up. And it's a low grandpa, it's like a nice low rum. And you can trace it across the sky. Yep, it's spring now. Everything's coming. Not that week, man. These wonderful plants bloom. They're purples and yellow or whites. Uh, yeah. So uh always look for that. Listen to the birds. First birds I ever hear in the morning are um robins. They started off before the sun's up. Uh, the next ones out here are the cardinals, and they're, they're uh, right after the sun rises, and you can still hear them singing their praises every morning and at night. And the robin's always the last one out here at night, too. He starts everything off, and he ends everything. Turn out the light before you leave. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, let's see, Blue Jay, they're just all over. They're jittery pig birds. Um, that's, a, that's a cardinal right there, I hear. Um, yeah, so I enjoy the mornings. I enjoy the evenings. I'm sitting out in uh, Kim's, uh, she had a rocker on her, uh, on her deck, and Maria would come over about nine. We just sit there and rock and chat. Watch that beautiful sunset, man. Different painting every day. Don't tell me God's not alive. Don't tell me that ever. I, I, I don't believe it. How can he say this? My brother put out atheist. He's an atheist. I get out of him. He knows where I stand spiritually, you know, and he respects that. And I respect him for his beliefs too. But, you know, one of these days. Like click on man, he hangs out with me too long. You'll see the light. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, he's a uh, devout atheist. I mean, that's a word. It's like, man, three things I tell him about my nieces. When you go see him, don't, there's three things you don't talk to him about, and that's religion, money, and politics, you know. Two of the worst things you talk to anybody about, really, if they're on the opposing side. I don't like arguing. I don't like the drama, so I just leave it alone. You know? Politics isn't my mess, you know. 
got people that can deal with that's fine. That's not one of my cup of teas, man. And, uh, so that's where I'm at with politics. So I got chastised. Um, Peter's administration and all that conflict that was going on with Kevin and Phil and all that crazy mad in the house. And I caught myself taking sides and uh, kind of twist my ankle a little bit. Walking. Yeah, and then Art heard about it. He chewed me out big time. You're not, you know, dividing isn't your place together. You need, you need, you bring these people together. You don't take sides, you know. So that was uh, end of the butt chewing, and I got it and uh, changed, changed it. And he said, you know, I thought about, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's what this responsibility is all about, too. You know, I mean, there's a lot of responsibility with this fight, and that just covers it. You know, you can't take sides. You know, you just can't. It's not what it's about. More so now, uh, I never shut the door to my teachings or my talking circles or anything like that to just natives. You know, I've always had my door open to anybody else that needed help. We got clinicians that aren't natives and they're helping our people. You know, I mean, they know what it's about. I mean, you can trust them, people. You know, and um, <clears throat> makes it easy for me. I even use their facility. You know, there's times that I need help. I remember who do I go to. You know, everybody was coming to me when I was at the gym. You know, and I you know, we'd try to help find the answers, and, uh, or somebody that could you know, know the answers questions even if I couldn't I don't know everything I'm willing to help find find it for them go with them but it's nice when you know them um because it makes it more, that's such easy you don't have to fuss and fuss, fuss around try to get them to talk you know you know you know, you, you know the person, you've known them for years, and you get right to the point. And there we go with that, right to the point thing. Let's, let's get it going now, man. We don't, I don't want to waste time. So, uh, yeah, I'm just... That, sometimes that doesn't go over too well for a lot of people either, you know. So you got to figure another way. And you can tell, like, yeah, I can't use a direct approach with this person. I got Working, I got to work my way into that. And, uh, so you just change your tactics. You get them talking soon enough, you know. Find the subject, change the subject, and then jump back in there and see if they're right. Once they're comfortable with you, we're good, you know. That's how it works. I'm not a professional. I never got any schooling to do it, but uh, I certainly know people. Grew up on my own, pretty much. You know, I didn't have any brothers, and I made uh, my sister will tell you my brother's the man that made me the woman I am today. And she's a little scrapper, she you know, big enough. And I said, "You're gonna play with me. You're gonna play, do what I do and how I do it." She grew up tough, independent, stood up for herself. Those things I took, I I taught her, you know, growing up. Yeah. Use this, use this, and use this. Like they say, sometimes it's the longest distance is that distance between your brain and your heart. That's a difficult journey there for some. So, I you to do that. I'm pretty well connected there. I, I, I won't hit the top of everything in this life because we're just gonna build that, you know. Respect and make mistakes. The less you make it, better it is. Uh, stairs. There's so much I want to talk about. Um, yeah, I don't like that yet. Uh, this stuff drives my mouth out.